Hey guys, it's Brittany back from the Bosch blog for another plan with me. This month is November. I can't believe it. It's crazy. Um, but the good news is I got my November spreads done before November started. So yay me. I might be on track now for the rest of the year. I mean, better late than never, right? Um, but I don't know about you, but I find when I'm not in my journal, my life is exceptionally more chaotic. And I don't know if that's because my life is exceptionally more chaotic and I don't have time to be in my journal or if my life is more chaotic because I haven't been in my journal. Like I haven't planned it out. So it's crazier. I don't know. It's like the chicken or the egg, which one came first? <laughs> but this month i just stuck with a cool fall theme i found some inspiration on pinterest and just tried to make it my own i don't know sometimes these don't work out the way that i think they're going to but whatever we try different things um for my calendar spread i actually went a little freehand this month i thought like i typically use a ruler because i like crisp straight lines but I thought eh, let's get a little whimsical this month and so we freehanded some things <clears throat> well when I say freehand I mean I didn't use a ruler obviously I wrote out some guide marks and everything <laughs> but I didn't use a ruler um, I like to space out my letters when I do letters like that just so that it's easier like if I don't write out the, the word in pencil to begin with. Because sometimes I feel like I can't erase the pencil once I put the highlighter or marker over top of it. So if I'm using a lighter color like that yellow, I'm gonna, I try to do it without any like pre-drawn letters and just use some spacing marks. Um, so I'm attempting to do a tree here. Um, I think my, <laughs> it looks a little chonky on the top. My friend Megan will not be pleased with this one after she taught me how to do a whole bunch of tree limbs for her wedding favors. <laughs> hey Megan, if you're watching this, you probably aren't, but I still love you. <laughs> um, so I wanted to, again, try to keep track of my mood. I don't know why I do this to myself, but whatever. <laughs> It's like I set up these tracker pages and then life happens and I never update them. So hopefully this month I'm a little bit more consistent. I mean, I'm recording this on the 6th and I haven't filled out any of my trackers. But in my defense, we were away on like a mini vacation slash school trip for my husband's cross country team. So we were pretty busy and I didn't have a lot of time to myself. So I have, I have an excuse. Um, but the mood tracker, those are supposed to be like, I don't know, the inspiration, I don't know if they were leaves or trees, but I was going with leaves for mine. <laughs> and then I just did my basic like habit tracker that I always do. I love the bar graph thing. I don't know what it is about it and I like to coordinate the color of the bar graph with the color of my mood for the day. Um, and I love my, my calendar stamps. They make my life so much easier. So I'm doing some weird outlining. I didn't like how it turned out, but you know, you live, you learn, we won't do it again next month. Um, so since it's November, we're doing a study during our small groups at church about thankfulness. And I always like in November with Thanksgiving, I always like to focus on gratitude. Um, so I created a gratitude log, it's really basic, but it'll do the job. So that's it. Um, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos if you like them. Um, but as always, thanks for joining and have a great month.